Hi, my name is MC Without Brain. In this video, I'm going to be presenting a few screenshots of a discussion that took place between a good friend of mine from university and the one we all know and love, Venom Fang X. My friend Michelle is currently doing religious studies at my university and would like to become the first female pope and sort everything out. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm all for her. Anyway, back to the discussion with Sean. Michelle came across a video by DPR Jones where he outlines how Sean fails to answer a question regarding the definitions of kinds. She was really interested to hear Sean's answer, so she sent him this message. Sean answers by saying the best answer for what a kind is, is the original animals that God created, each which did not share a common ancestor with any other. Michelle recognized how Sean still had not answered the question, so she asks again. Sean answers by explaining how a kind is the original animals which God created that do not share a common ancestor with any other animal. It is impossible to determine what the original kinds were, since we only have their offspring which have speciated. He used the term speciated to describe how the animals we see today are the result of adaptation and mutations. Now this was really interesting. And as you can see, Michelle points this out. Sean then comes out with an absolute peach and describes how this was false. Speciation has nothing to do with evolution. There are many finch species, but they all share a common ancestor, a finch. However, Michelle repeats herself and explains again. But Sean decided to completely disregard this fact and tried to portray this particular meaning as the evolutionist's definition. The discussion then became a battle of meanings and definitions. Michelle recommended for Sean to note this down so he wouldn't make a further fool of himself. Yes, which the prevailing view is evolution. If speciation is the same as evolution, then we don't need two separate words. Seriously, Sean, where the flying fuck did he get this crap from? Michelle placed an emphasis on how he should reflect on his incompetence and become aware of his mistake. Now this next reply really did make my day. You seem to have no understanding of what I'm telling you. I did not say speciation proves creation. My point was that both creationists and evolutionists accept speciation, and because of that, there is no way to use speciation in favor of either. Sean, despite the fact that you said this fits your creation model, you then contradict yourself and say it doesn't. You clearly have no consistency when trying to sell this crap to people, do you? Michelle tried to create a bridge by replying, Sean, just to make this very clear, the term speciation is defined as an evolutionary process which explains the nature of an organism adapting to an environment and changing in appearance resulting from newly created genes through the process of mutations, which are not random. They are the result of adaptations to the environment, and emphasized how I have never seen any creationist on the internet portray the term speciation in anything similar to its definition. Perhaps if you were to make this point clear in a video and accurately portray your views to people, you would be able to rec receive some admiration for creating a bridge of consensus between creationists and evolutionists. What do you think? Sean again completely disregards and gives no thought for what has just been said and responds with this. And what I'm telling you is that speciation has nothing to do with the evolutionary process, but is just the result of the adaptations. You don't seem to understand the concept that speciation can be real while well, evolution is not. As you can see, Michelle just repeats the definition again and gives a pretty good example of where the study of evolution has been applied. Sean gives no shit for the example provided and just keeps insisting that the definition for the term speciation was wrong but still believes in it and not evolution. So, in a nutshell, Sean doesn't know what the hell he's talking about 
and just thinks he is right and everyone else is wrong. Despite the fact that he was proven to be inconsistent and self-contradictory and completely unable to reflect on his mistakes. So if this is the type of character you are representing, Sean, why the hell should anyone give two shits when you tell people to reflect and understand where they go wrong in their lives? Or worse yet, why do you feel you deserve any money or donations from people? For Christ's sake, grow a pair of balls, get a proper job and earn some cash for yourself rather than e-bag to people over the internet. Seriously, Sean, this is getting really old. Get over yourself. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate and favorite.